Thank you for agreeing to review abstracts for the Nutrition 2022 Live Online, the American Society for Nutrition's annual flagship meeting, which will be held virtually from June 14 to 16, 2022. My name is Nana Glitzen Miller, and I serve on this year's Scientific Program Committee. With me is Michelle Crispino, ASN's Director of Knowledge Initiatives. Today, we will review the how to's for abstract review. First, we thank you for lending your time and expertise to this important endeavor. Your work as an abstract reviewer helps to advance our field and elevates the quality of science presented at our events. Further, often serving as an abstract reviewer is the first step that ASN, ASN members take to become more active in our society. Let's get started. All abstracts submitted to ASN events are peer reviewed for quality assurance and scientific integrity. Our goals are to ensure excellence in the society's scientific and clinical programming and content, show ASN's organizational approach to the abstract review process, and improve consistency of ratings among reviewers. The ASN abstract review process is based on the results of a two year pilot that was guided by the leadership of ASN research interest sections. The abstract review process consists of the following steps. Abstracts are submitted through Nutrition 2022 Live Online's abstract submission website. Authors select the, select the abstract track, topical area, and keywords. Topic experts review and score all abstracts. Oral and poster sessions are formed by the RISC and council leadership based on the topic, review scores, and author preferences. The scientific program committee oversees abstract programming. ASN has been collecting abstract scores since 2013. The rating scale goes from one to 10, with 10 being the highest. Last year, the average score for abstracts was 6.5. Over time, we aim to elevate the quality of every abstract submitted to ASN events. In 2021, for example, 63% of abstracts received ratings from satisfactory to exceptional. Next, we're going to move on to the review process and programming. Each abstract is assigned to three to four reviewers. As a reviewer, you will be asked to provide a score from one incomplete to 10 exceptional for each abstract that you review. A final score for each abstract is determined by averaging the reviewer's scores. You will also be asked to indicate if you believe the abstract is newsworthy. ASN's Public Information Committee will review abstracts deemed newsworthy and consider them for media promotions leading up to 2022, leading up to Nutrition 2022 live online. When completing reviews, abstract reviewers should review the criteria for scoring and weighting, abstain from a review if you believe you may have a conflict of interest with the abstract. Conflict of interests are situations that may affect or appear to affect the impartiality and the integrity of the peer review process. We use a blind review process. You will not see an abstract's presenting author and co-author information. However, if you believe you have a conflict of interest based on the information provided, please decline the review and don't read the abstract. During each review, you will be asked to consider the following abstract components, objectives, methods, results, and conclusions. Key attributes you will consider for scoring include significance, in particular, the novelty and relevance of the work to the field of nutrition. Writing quality, in particular, the clarity and conciseness of the text, as well as grammar. When determining an abstract score, consider each component and attribute 
and award a score from one to 10. One is incomplete and 10 is exceptional. The table on the right provides additional details about each number in the rating scale. You will receive an abstract reviewer guide with these instructions. We understand that scoring abstract quality is somewhat subjective. Please use your best judgment when reviewing and scoring abstracts. When determining a score, please keep in mind the suggested weighting. Objective, methods, results, and conclusions, each should be weighted at 20%. Significance should be weighted at 15%. And finally, writing quality should be weighted at 5%. Common errors in low scoring abstracts include objectives that are unclear or lacking, methods that are not clear or adequately described, an example is stating appropriate language and sensitive nutrition education was delivered. As you can see, the methods in this example are not properly defined. Results that are lacking, incomplete, or too preliminary. Sometimes the results may be inadequate and not fully match the aim, hypothesis, or methods. All abstracts must include results. Exceptions will only be made for study protocol abstracts, which must be noted as a study protocol in the abstract title. Finally, another common error are conclusions that are not based on or consistent with the presented results. Regarding significance, the abstract might describe a great study, but one that is not very novel or has limited impact. This can affect the significant score of the abstract. You may also find abstracts that are not clearly written or have typographical or other grammatical errors. Abstracts with an average score of two or less will be reviewed by the RIS and council chairs and ASN staff for potential rejection. Incomplete abstracts for example, no results were reported, will not be programmed. ASN will handle all communications to authors regarding acceptance or rejection. Abstract scores are used in the following ways. An abstract's average score can qualify an author to receive an award or to compete in an awards competition. Typically, the top 20% of abstracts are scheduled into oral presentations, provided the authors indicated a preference for an oral presentation. Abstract scores are also used to monitor quality and improvement over time. Since abstract scores will be used to determine awards and programming, please do try to use the full range of scores when scoring abstracts, that is, it doesn't help much when every abstract is given the same score. Next, Michelle will provide tips on navigating the review site. Thank you, Nana. Each reviewer will receive an email to access the Nutrition 2022 Live Online Abstract Reviewer website. Your email will include a link to the site, instructions on how to log in, and a guide on how to submit your reviews. Here's a screenshot of what you will see when you first visit the site. Once logged in, you can either click to begin reviewing abstracts and submitting scores, or view a summary of all of your review assignments. After clicking review scorecard, you will see your first review assignment. The abstract will be on the left and the review questions will be on the right. On this screen, you can download the abstract you are currently viewing, download all of your assignments to review and enter scores later, or use the arrows at the top right of the page to move between abstracts. If you believe you have a conflict of interest with an abstract, please decline to review by checking the box at the top. After reviewing the full abstract information, you will use the gray box on the right to enter your review information. Question one asks you to score the abstract from one, which is lowest or incomplete, to 10, which is highest or exceptional. 
Question two asks you to provide feedback for scores less than or equal to two. Question three asks you if you think the abstract is newsworthy and would be of interest to the media. You can also provide additional comments for the review chairs. This is optional. Click the Save Review button to save your information. It can be revised at any time before the review deadline. The review period for Nutrition 2022 Live Online Abstracts is February 17th to March 4th. We thank you in advance for completing your reviews in advance of the deadline so that we can stay on track with the abstract programming schedule. If you have any questions at any time, please contact me by email at education at nutrition.org or by phone at 240-428-3607. And now I'll turn it back to Nana. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you again for serving as an abstract reviewer for Nutrition 2022 Live Online. This is an important role and we appreciate your support and involvement with this process. And finally, please make plans to join us at the meeting. Registration will open in March and we look forward to seeing you in June there.